Imagine a world where the very institutions established to protect and care for our most vulnerable citizens instead become the perpetrators of harm. A place where behavioral health and developmental disability services designed to foster growth and rehabilitation transform into arenas of fear and mistreatment. In the heart of Albany, Georgia, such a scenario unfolded on a seemingly ordinary day. The 13th day of March, 2024, between 1 and 2 in the afternoon, to be precise. The venue, Aspire Crisis Walk-In Area, a safe haven for those grappling with the complexities of behavioral health and developmental challenges. A gentleman by the name of James Michael Epler walked into this establishment, seeking help, seeking understanding, only to be met with hostility. The security guards, individuals entrusted with ensuring the safety of all within the facility's walls, decided on a different course of action that day. They refused to let Mr. Epler leave, exercising their authority in the most egregious manner. The situation escalated rapidly. The guards did not just restrain Mr. Epler, they threw him across the room. Not once, not twice, but multiple times. The assault did not end there. They took him to a blacked out room, a space devoid of light, of hope, and continued their onslaught. The nature of his injuries? Physical and psychological. Punches, kicks, shoves, suffocation, and perhaps the most distressing of all, a hate crime. The assailants' employees of Aspire showed no mercy, no humanity. Witnesses, yes, there were. Four unknown assailants from Aspire, individuals in the lobby, an Albany Police Department corporal, a sheriff's deputy. All bear witness to the atrocity that unfolded that day. Such gross negligence on part of Aspire Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities Services cannot go unnoticed, unaddressed. The damages resulting from this incident are not just physical, but emotional, psychological, profound. This is not just a story, it's a call to action, a plea for change, for accountability, for justice. Advocate for better health and disability services. Stand up against such negligence and abuse. Be the voice for those who cannot speak for themselves, because no one, Absolutely no one should have to endure what James Epler did that fateful day.